Hi everyone and welcome to our day eight here in Orlando. Now today, don't know if you can tell by the top, but we're heading to Disney Springs today. Now we're very excited, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah, can't wait to get there. Yeah, there's a lot, lot of different stuff. So if you don't know what Disney Springs is, it's like a shopping center outside. And there's lots of food, shops, everything. Um, and you can spend quite a lot of time there. Now we're going to be heading to a couple of food places. If you've heard of Disney Springs, you must have heard of Blaze Pizza before. So we're going to be heading there for some food later. Um, and I think chicken guy as well yeah. for lunch. We'll have a look around, make sure we're, we're happy with our choices and yeah. stuff. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to Disney Springs. We're going to grab an Uber mm -hmm. to Disney Springs. We'll let you know how much that is once we're there. So we just made it into Disney Springs. The Uber cost us $7.98, which not bad at all really to get here. Um, we're going to go and explore the first shop we're going to go in is this one behind because I want Vicky to know the smell. It smells so good in there, honestly. I can't describe it. Like, think about like, the, the best sweet smelling thing ever. So nice. Let's go and head inside. Can you smell it a bit? Oh yeah. It's lovely. <laughs> Long chance. <laughs> Mega mind. <laughs> Flex those muscles a bit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How nice does that smell of it? So nice. It's like proper sweet, but not in like a sickly or powering way. It's dead nice. Yeah, it's proper nice. I love it in there. Right, <laughs> I think I've just spotted the art of Disney and Days of Christmas, so we're going to go and have a look in there, show you any bits of art that we like, and obviously the Christmas stuff. I know it's February, but who cares? Christmas all year round. <laughs> Okay, so let's head into the art of Disney. We're going to try and see what our favourite piece of art is in here. I said I like this Black Panther one. Vicky said she likes this Bambi one over here. I think that's our favourites up to now. Let's see if we can spot any other ones. Oh, that Avengers one. Look at that. $229. Oh, yeah, he's a... Tired again. <laughs> This one's really cool, like a stitch one. Have you seen the price of that? Three thousand five hundred pounds. Dollars, sorry. <laughs> I love, I love this one here. How cool is that? That's only thirty grand, mate. Right? It's only thirty grand, yeah. No, thirty grand. That's lovely. Stained glass. One hundred and eighty dollars. Not actually not that bad to be fair. That's, imagine having that in your house. It's really nice. So here's a Walt Disney sign check, £22,000. <laughs> bit, bit out of our budget, but... Oh wait, oh, that's how much you can buy it. That's how much, no, you, you, can, you can buy it. You can buy the check for £22,000, dollars, sorry. Keep saying pound. This one's 8000 And then 1800 at the bottom. Some expensive stuff in here, but some really cool stuff. I do also like the, the artwork. Okay, so we just come out of the art of Disney. How'd you find really that? Good, yeah, I like that. I wasn't expecting a shop like that to be here to go. Yeah, some really, really cool stuff in there. Well, Vicky was just mentioning how chill it is, weren't you? Yeah. Like, nice chill atmosphere as you're walking around. It's lovely. I like the music as well playing. Right, we've got the uh, days of Christmas now. Let's go and have a look in here. I do like looking at the Christmas decorations. Love these Toy Story ones here. How good are these? I love that one there. Then you've got Woody and Jesse in the boxes down below. And they are all $30 for all of them. Which, not bad to be fair, the, the level of detail in that. How cool is that? Vicky spotted this, nice little touch. It's a bit more like classier, isn't it? It's not, yeah. not as like animated as like these ones, but really nice. I love the colors on that. How much is that? 2199 Not a bad actually. 2199 Just spotted this here. Big, big, big watch. watch. <laughs> Be a bit, a little bit cheaper. How much is that? That one's $35 before before tax. To be fair, it is a big dobber. Big one, that one. Get the fire on as well. Don't get warm, but. Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it. <laughs> This 
this one's really nice. It's got the castle inside it. Love that. With the Mickey Mouse ears as well. How much is that? Thirty-four ninety-nine. So I just went out of the days of Christmas shop. How was that? It's amazing in there. Yeah, a lot, lot of different stuff. I mean, you can think of any Disney film or series, whatever, and they have something in there. It's, it's brilliant. Okay, so we just spotted this place, and Vicky's going to have a look for a ring, and you can personalise your own names on this. It's really good, and they're quite cheap as well. They're about twenty dollars. So we'll show you what they're like. So Vicky's going to go for a ring. It's a brass ring, and she's going to have Vicky on it. $25 for that. I think that's really good for Disney prices now. She's told us to go into this shop, pay for it in here, and then come back with the receipt. Okay, so all paid for. It came to a total of $26.63, which I think is a really good price for, for Disney stuff. We're going back around this side of it. <laughs> okay, when I get back to the ring cows, I'll show you all the little designs that there is, um, and also the prices of all the different ones. Okay, so Vicky's got a new ring on. Look at that. <laughs> Love it. I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, I'll just let you know, it was $20 for like the cheapest one, yeah. and then $1 per letter on top of that. If you wanted, yeah, if you wanted to design, it was $3 per design, so you could have like a love heart on top of it, so you could have like Vicky with a love heart next to it. So that would have been like $28, $29. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I really, like, I really like that. I mean, for the personalization touch as well, in Disney. How cool so is that? Cute. I love it. Nice, isn't it? Happy. It was. She were looking at TikToks before, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. And literally, as we were walking up, I went, Vicky, it's that ring carver's place. Spotted it yeah. straight in, went and got it. $26, not bad. I know. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> okay, so we're just passing Earl Sandwich now. Some really nice sandwiches from there. I've been there before, um, but we're not going to go there today. I think we're going to go and head for some food now, Vic, yeah? Yeah. I think we're going to go Are to we? Chicken Guy. Yeah, we're getting a little bit hungry now. So we'll head to Chicken Guy for some food, then we'll come back to all these shops, especially the World of Disney store. I do want to have a good look in there. So we're just heading to Chicken Guy now. You can see it's getting a little bit more busy around this area, especially like the newer newer shops and stuff. Um, but we're just going to continue down this road towards Chicken Guy. Uh oh, Vicky, what's this here? Get her away, get her away. If you've not watched our video yesterday, we went to the mall at Millennia. We went into Sephora. Vicky's bank account got hit. Pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah. Hardest <laughs> it's ever been hit, I think. Yeah. So we're going to keep you away from there today. <laughs> okay, so we're just arriving at Chicken Guy now. Let's go and have a quick look at the menu. Okay, so you have a lot of chicken sandwiches, of course, because it's chicken. Now the sauces, I know they've got rid of quite a lot here. They used to have a teriyaki one that I really enjoy, but not there anymore. Might be on the limited time one. I think I'd go for like the bourbon one. Oh, oh the ranch. I do like ranch as well. Um, let's have a look at the chicken. So three tenders, six ninety nine. See, you get kids meal here. You get two tenders. You get chips and you get a drink it's for the same price as just three tenders without chips. I think I think I'm gonna go for the kids meal. Me, yeah, you think you're gonna join me? Yeah. Yeah. I think two kids meals, chips. You get a. I don't know if you get a sauce. We'll ask us when we get in. Yeah. Let's go and join. Okay, so we just started. We got the two kids tenders and we got two sauces as well. So I went for the Korean barbecue and ranch, and Vicky went for the bourbon barbecue and ranch. That came to a total of fourteen eighty nine after tax. Really good price actually. Okay, so the goods have been secured. So we went for a mini made lemonade each, and then you can see inside. We'll we'll get the food out now to show you. Okay, so we've got the food. I mean, all that for six ninety nine. How good's that? Okay, Vicky's gonna try a chip. So good. Mm. So we just finished our chicken guy. How was that, Vic? It was so nice, yeah. yeah. Honestly. The, the chips, the chips, and the seasoning on the chips are so nice, aren't they? Don't you see the chips? 
you don't need sauce for them because it's so flavoursome. Yeah. It helps that because I don't like it when the chips are bland and you feel like you've got to literally like scoop yeah. up half a pot of sauce just to make it taste alright. They were salted but weren't too salty. They had like a bit of like paprika on, like a red sugar. salt, a bit of sugar on. Yeah, they were so nice. Um, and the chicken, maybe not the best chicken I ever had, but no, when you no. add it with the sauces, then it becomes really nice. Honestly, yeah, I mean for seven seven dollars each. Really, in Disney as well. How good's yeah. that? Okay, so after a lovely meal, we're going to head into the Coca-Cola shop just because it's like the last shop on this corner. So we're going to head into the Coca-Cola shop first and then head back up into like the shopping area. I always think these look really comfy here and they feel, they feel so soft. They, them back at home will be well nice, won't they? Yeah. Vicky, you look really nice in that Coca-Cola bear onesie. <laughs> this is quite cool. Coca-Cola spirit jersey. That is... $70. Cheesy peeps, man. Cheesy peeps. <laughs> That's quite nice. $55 for that, though. But I do like the design on that. Look at this here, like a cherry coat can, but as like a bottle. Really nice to hold you, though. Yeah. What does it say on it? Four hours. Four hours hot, 12 hours cold. Nice. And that was $19.95. To be fair, the price in here aren't actually that bad, are they? I thought they'd be a lot more expensive. Happy Valentine's, mate. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> This is a really cool mug, 19.95 for that. I do like that. Okay, so we just headed out to the Coca-Cola shop. Really cool in there, and yeah. the prices were actually quite good, weren't they? So, um, we'll, yeah, they were actually. So what we're gonna do is head back down the street now. I do have to sometimes watch how much I film in shots just because of the music they play, just for copyright and stuff. So if I'm not filming much, that's the reason why. What do you think of the jumper, by the way? You like it? It's so cute, I love it. You know where you got it from? Where well, I got it from, should I say? Yeah. h and Women's. <laughs> so it's a women's jumper, but it's so nice. Yeah, actually, it's nice, isn't it? It's well nice. It'll feel like it suits you more than it would me, for example. Yeah. Oh, I really like it. It's cool. So we're gonna have a little look in Colombia just because I, I found something really nice last time, like a fleece. And it was actually a good price, so we'll have a little look in here. Look at that. So this is my quarter zip that I found last time. It was in the sale for about $17, $18. $45 now. So we're just going out of Colombia. Not too much in there. I think the sales weren't as good as I went in last time, which is a bit of a shame, but there was still some good stuff, like two t-shirts for $25, like graphic t-shirts, which if you found some nice designs, that were quite good. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to head down here. I think the next shop Vicky wanted to go into was Harley Davidson. Harley -Davidson yeah. And you're looking for something for your dad, aren't you? Does he's he like? He's a big motorbike fan. He, he does. Loves Harley Davidson. Yeah. And um, he's always loved him since I was little, and I love him too. So, so we're going. In there. Yeah, I think there is Zara as well, which we might have a quick look in, um, but we might not vlog too much in there just because it's not special stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick look in Zara. Like I said, we're not gonna vlog everything in here. We'll just show you if we do pick up anything, or, or anything pops up really nice. Okay, so we just come out of Zara then, really nice Zara shop that, it was very spacious and um, they had all that like, model clothing out didn't they, where they had like clothes set up as if they were wearing the outfit, it was quite cool. Right, we're going to head over this way, heading towards the Harley Davidson area. Okay, so we're going to head into this Ever After jewellery shop, just have a little look in here. So we've just come out of the Ever After store. It's quite nice in there. Yeah. Like I said, if you're into your Disney stuff, there's loads of stuff to look at. I mean, it wasn't just jewelry as well. There was bags and, and other stuff as well. Yeah, really nice in there. This is quite a cool shop, this Love Pop. It is, it's like pop-up cars, and I want to show Vicky what it looks like in here because there's some really cool ones. So let's go and head inside the Love Pop shop. So a really cool shopping love pop there. I mean, there's some really cool designs in there. If you think, if you like anything Disney, they have like Star Wars stuff. <laughs> um, I'm going to head into Under Armour now. Let's have a look, quick, 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 quick look in here. Okay, let's have a quick look in Under Armour and then we'll head to Vicky's Harley Davidson finally. <laughs> Clearance taking an additional 50% off. Ooh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look okay so we're heading upstairs for the men's we're just going to have a look at the clearance aisle because apparently that's the only bit that's 50 percent off so it's not the entire store it's just a clearance so 
so just come out the Under Armour shop there. I mean, there wasn't really much, was there? No. Definitely recommend if you're looking at Under Armour stuff, go to the outlets first because there's some stuff that's very similar and a lot cheaper in the outlets. So I'd definitely head down to the Orlando Premium Outlets, all the Vineland Outlets, because they have an Under Armour at both. Okay, let's head down this street now. Um, I do think, oh no, Uniqlo, let's go in here first. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> One more shot, then we'll get to your Harley Davidson. I knew it. As soon as I saw that shop, I thought he's not. That's not going to be the last shop. This is. <laughs> Okay, so let's head inside Uniqlo now. I got a really nice t-shirt from here last time. Okay, so I spotted these like regular fit slash baggy fit tops and they're only 14.90, so really good price. I do like this color here, but doesn't seem to be a size large, just all mediums. So a little shame, shame about that top because there isn't a size large in it. So we'll give that one a miss. Continue looking around. Okay, so nothing much else in Uniqlo there. Good, good about that t-shirt because I did really like the color, but it was literally just small and medium, wasn't it? It's getting a bit busier now, you can see. Um, right, let's go and head to Harley Davidson finally for you, Vic. Okay, so we just come out of Harley Davidson. Not successful, we didn't get anything. Some cool stuff in there, but prices were a little bit expensive, weren't they? Really what we were after. Yeah, exactly. So, like I said, some cool stuff in there. It's worth a look in, but prices were were quite quite extreme for what they were. Like a, a keyring was like thirty dollars and stuff. So we thought we'd leave it. So okay, so we're gonna have a quick look in Amaretz. Looks like a bakery slash pastry area. So we thought we'll have a quick look inside and show you anything that tickles our fancy. So it smells really good in here. Yeah, so we just come out of, let's zoom in, Amaretz now. Um, it was quite fancy, wasn't it, in there? Pretty fancy. Yeah, some fancy stuff in there. I mean, we didn't, we didn't really want fancy, but about $10, $11 for like a little pastry as well, so I thought I would leave that. Yeah. All right, we're all at Disney now. This is the one you want. Absolutely huge in here. A little bit busy, but I'll have a look now. We'll show you anything that pops up. That T-shirt's really nice. I just spotted straight away. Yeah, well, that's for like the different theme parks, isn't it? So you've got Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. That's it, I do like that t-shirt. So there's no price on that t-shirt, but I do I do like the design on that. I like these reusable shopping bags here. So you have Disney World on one side and then Disneyland on the other. And it's only $1.50 and then $2 for a big one. Not a bad price that, to be fair. So we just spotted these Munchlands here and it's only $10 for one of these. Quite big as well, I mean, if you just see, that's my hand. Some quite, quite a good price to be fair, and that's for the medium plushies. This is really cool that I just spotted. It's got Walt Disney World on the front, and then the back has all the theme parks there. Really cool, that. That's a better look at it from, from further away. 69 dollars yeah, not a bad price to be fair. It's got a good feel to it as well. So I just spotted this spirit jersey here. I like, like the colours on that, like a white, cream and gold. Yeah, and the, the texture on it's 3D. How much is that? 84 dollars 84 is, is expensive. So you have all your lounge fly bags here as well. If you spotted this Pirates of the Caribbean one, that's your type of bag. If you had, if you had one, you'd probably put that on, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really resemble Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Not massively. Not like yeah, it does. It needs Jack Sparrow on it. That's that's definitely my mum. She she'd love that bag that proper glitz and glamour. Orange version if you like that. Stitch one as well, my mum loves stitch. Some nice they are some nice bags in here. I love all of these where they have like the, the proper boxes. Woody's round up. Rex there. They're brilliant, they're brilliant all they have all like the toys boxes. I do love them. And they're only $34.99. I think that's a really good that's price really good. that for for the, the cool box and the tie inside. They do have all the others as well, so they have, obviously, Woody's round up, they have the spaceship ones here. Where's Buzz? I'll find you, Buzz. It's brilliant for kids in here. So we have the bucket, bucket of soldiers in here. Brilliant, that, that is $20 as well. Not bad, that. For, for Disney prices, good. And then you have, I love this here, look at this. Pizza Planet. 
quite like a sweatshirt here as well. I like the design on that. I do like like the old retro writing on stuff. Anything with that on, I do like. And that is fifty-five dollars for that. So I just spotted these tumblers here. How cool is that? Proper proper lights in them. Flip it open. It's got like a red. Brilliant, that, isn't it? That's thirty-nine ninety-nine for that. Which for the level of detail on that, I don't think that's bad. No. I just don't. I don't really like how big the actual hall is. If you look at. You know, like drinking that. Mm. I do like this one as well. That's re that's really good. How much is that? Let's have a quick look. What's the price? Mm. Thirty-five. Thirty-five ninety-nine. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Sorry. Look at how cute this one is. <laughs> Groggy baby order there. Brilliant. How much is that? That looks like it should be a bit cheaper. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Yeah. To be fair, I do, I do prefer the lightsaber one. Look how cute that is. <laughs> baby, baby Groot holding your bottle and you can hold it. That's brilliant, that. That is $39.99. Okay, so we've just come out of the World Disney Store. Cool in there, it's yeah. so, so big, isn't it? It's huge, uh, loads of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you think of some, uh, it's in that shop. Food Disney fan, it's a place for you. Yeah, definitely, like I said, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. I love them Toy Story toys. Um, them drink holders were really cool yeah. as well. Uh, but yeah, just behind us here is Ghirardelli now. This is the place to be. I, lo I love it in here. I think I might go and grab myself a little milkshake or something. But I'm going to go and have a quick look in the shop first. Okay, so we're going to head into this side and I'm going to grab myself, I think, a little milkshake. Not decided which one yet because, oh, there's a lot of options. Let's show you the options. So they also have all these sundaes here. <laughs> oh my, this is my dream. I didn't, no, I'm gonna go for a milkshake. Though. I'm gonna keep away from that, the ice cream. I think, oh, I'm looking at either this caramel quake shake or the frozen hot cocoa. Ooh, get strawberries, get? free. <laughs> I mean, if you get a few, that's not bad, but I got a feeling you only get like a couple. Ooh, I don't know which one to get. Caramel quake or frozen hot cocoa. So we just found out that a dipped strawberry is literally just one strawberry for six dollars. Don't think I'll be going for that. Right, what do I want? I think I'm gonna go for the frozen hot cocoa. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I've got myself a frozen hot cocoa. It came to 11.61. Is that a little expensive for a hot chocolate kind of? Yeah, just a little bit, but you're on your holidays. I'm on my holidays. You spent on Sephora, so I can enjoy my Ghirardelli. <laughs> With his hot cocoa. Now, frozen. Hot the, the smell of it smells like so like proper chocolate, doesn't it? Like, yeah. it smells really nice. I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. I think you will. Oh my god. Is it good? I think that's the best milkshake I've ever had. No way. I'm not, I'm not even lying. It's right. so simple. Oh wow. No, honestly. <laughs> That, like, it's so, to describe it, it's like so smooth, like mm. creamy smooth, but it's not thick, not, not massively thick, but it's not watery. It's like in between, it's like the, no, it's like the perfect, mm. honestly. That's, so good, it's hard to explain. It honestly is, like. That, Worth $11? Yeah, I've enjoyed that. I'm happy I spent oh, that. Oh, Danny now. Boy's playing as well. Choir singing. The time of that. I know. Honestly, get to Ghirardelli and get yourself a frozen mm. hot cock. That is. That's unreal, that. <laughs> I, no, I'm not even joking, that is so good. Never seen him so often. Oh. Oh. I need to get every, dras every last drop. Every drop Le lot? Left me speechless. <laughs> that was the best milkshake type drink I've ever had in my life. It was really good to be fair. I don't like milkshakes at all. Like, I never have them. No. And I tried that and I actually said that is really, really nice. It, like, it genuinely is. It's literally just like drinking chocolate. It's so, so but nice. Not We're, sickly. I, I drank all that and what, didn't once feel like, like it was sickly at all. No. I properly enjoyed it. I like, mm. can't go back for another. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Bankrupt. Yeah. Really good. But I know it's expensive, but Worth it. The, quality, the quality is so good on that. Okay, so the next stop is going to be the Lego shop. So let's go and have a look inside here. I do love, love it, having a look at all the different things here. And the ones outside as well, like you have the Mickey, you have the one in the water. 
you have Elsa here from Frozen. Let's go and have a look inside. So me and Vicky both love these flower Legos and they are $49.99. $850 for this one. So we've just spotted this Disney castle, which is $400, but how cool is that? Okay, so we've just come out of the Lego shop now. So busy in there. Way too busy. Right, so, there's so many kids about, like, right, on the floor and stuff, like, crawling about. Um, it just makes it a little bit less enjoyable to look at stuff. I just want to show Vicky all the prices and stuff because there's some really good and expensive stuff in there. Um, but we couldn't really look, have a proper look in. And we also wanted to do them minifigures, didn't we? Yeah. We wanted to make our own minifigures and like, you know, so we have one of each other. Or maybe have them like as a key ring and stuff, but that were packed as well. Um, so we just thought we'll, we'll walk out of there. We might go, go back in later. Um, but I think Vicky wants to head back to the shop because she went into going to... Which is like a jewellery shop. Um, and you're looking for like a ring, aren't you? Yeah. Let's head to Kendra Scott. Let's go and have a look for a ring for Vicky. Okay, so we're just going to Kendra Scott. We didn't really buy anything in there. We just had a browse. Yeah. Vicky's looking for one to go with a new ring, aren't you? Yes. So what are you looking for? One to just a simple like sparkling band just to go underneath it. Just a stack and stack on top yeah. and then underneath, yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll have, have a look out, see if anything else pops up. Um, might as well have a look when we get back to England. Yeah. But yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to head towards more towards the food places um, and towards like your Gideon's cookies and show you the queue. As I reckon the queue is going to be pretty big today there. Just can't keep her awake, can you? She's going back, having a look at this jewelry now. She loves it. Quickly walks away when she saw the price of the ring. $900. Oh, <laughs> well, well, that's eyewear. Ooh, we're lucky. Oh no, Pandora's coming up. Yeah, but I used to work there, so I kind of... It's hard to go in now. Yeah. It's hard to I go I think in. it's the thing that you used to be able to get it for discounted prices yeah. as well. Because obviously when you're working, you get a staff discount and going back in and buying something that you could have got it for... It hurts a little bit. Yeah, for a lot cheaper. It does. You want to have a look in? I'll do it. Yeah, let's go and have a look in Pandora. See if there's any any different things that you might see from Bolton stuff. <laughs> Anything different there you can see to the Volta style on this one. This one? I don't know, I have that the Spider Man one there. There's new stuff that's come out since I left. Yeah. But all of it seems to be the stuff that we've had. Yeah, so nothing, nothing that's just for this store. They have that engraving, they don't have that background, do they? Apart from in Manchester. Yeah, that is cute. It's so nice in there. That's quite cute, it's dainty, isn't it? Okay, so we just come out of Pandora. Vicky didn't really find what she wanted, just having a little browse. But I do like this water here. The view, the view across this bridge is lovely. Okay, so here's what the Gideon's queue looks like. Okay, so we're joining the queue. They said it's going to be about a 40 minute wait for some cookies. 40 minute wait for some cookies. <laughs> so here's what the menu looks like. The, the limited edition ones are the Strawberry Delight and the Eternal Flame. And then you have all the other ones down below. My favourite, my favourite one in the box. Okay, so just short of 20 minutes and we're almost at the front, so I'll say another 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll be inside. Okay, it's nearly time for us to enter the Gideon's Bakehouse. Thank you. It smells really good in here, doesn't it? The smell, the smell's hitting me straight away. I like all the designs on the walls as well. Okay, the goods have been secured. How much was that? About $20. $20. Yeah. 
Yeah, free cookies we got. We'll show you. We're going to try them all out now, so come and join us. So just to mention, before we do try our cookies, it took us about 32 minutes to be in and out of the shop, which not too bad considering the line goes all the way down. The woman did say it was 45 minutes before we entered it, but I knew it was going to be a little bit shorter. So if the line is looking like it's at the bottom end, about where it is now, it's only going to take you about 35 minutes. Okay, so I found a lovely bench just to go and sit and have our Gideon's cookies. Let's see just with this view here. Oh, here it is. So we got a, a box, didn't we? Yeah. Because we got three cookies, it came in a box. Now just have a look at that box. Does it have any designs on the back? Delicious things away. Gideon's logo there. Don't know what that says. Tito unlocking the secrets of our mystic cookie <laughs> kingdom. There he goes. Right. Very cool little box, isn't it? It is. Are we ready to open it? Yeah. Look at this. It does look like a, is it look like burgers, but that's thick. It does look like a burger. Look at that. Let's, let's like, put that on my hand. I'll tell you what that is. That's hefty, that, isn't it? I don't know which is which either. Yeah, so we're just going to find out whilst we try them. So what's that one? You know? No. Okay, first one. I think this is a strawberry one. Mm. Now I did. It smells like strawberry. Yeah, that's a strawberry one. Is it? I'm gonna leave that one. I want to try the original chocolate chip first. Oh, okay. You know, just so I can get a taste of what the actual cookie tastes yeah. like before I taste the flavors. Okay, let's figure out which that one is. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna break a little bit off. Yeah. Oh, that's soft. That's soft. Yeah. Have a look uh, inside. Ooh. All right, you ready? Plenty of chocolate chips on there. How is it? The eyebrows are going. Nice. That's a nice cookie. Very chocolatey with them. The amount of chocolate chips that are on it makes it very chocolatey. Yeah, she kind of overpowers the cookie. Yeah, I mean because it's such a big cookie, I'm not going to be eating all that. No, but it's a hefty he, he claimed that he was going to before. No, I'm I going to try a bit of each, but... Now he's realised. How it smells is how, you know, in the shop? Yeah. That's how it tastes, Ooh. the cookie. Very sweet then. Yeah, it's not, not, I can't really describe, it's not like a cookie that I've had before. Mm. Final verdict. I thought, I thought it tasted a bit salty. Yeah, it's got salt, salt rocks on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Final verdict. All right, this cookie. I'm giving about a seven. Okay. It's not the best cookie I've ever had. I must admit. Mhm. Mm I like it. It's nice. It's not the best. I feel like the cookies, the, the the chocolate chips are lovely, by the way, but the actual cookie is lacking a little bit of flavour I feel like. Sorry, I'm sneezing. Sorry. The actual cookie's lacking a bit of flavour I feel like, so yeah, that's okay. why I give it about a seven. Yeah. Okay, next up we have the banana bread. Oh, that does look good. That does look good. Okay. I'm going to try a bit of this. I didn't try the other one just because I don't like a lot of sweet stuff, so I just didn't want to overpower the two that I wanted to try. Now this has walnuts in as well. Yes. Now again, have a look inside. Very dense. Mm-hmm. Alright. Smells absolutely lovely. Is that good? No, that's a lot better. Yeah, interesting. The actual cookie's more softer inside, a bit more, as you call it, it's a bit wet. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> that's, now that's, I'm gonna give that about a nine. Ooh. Okay, can I try? Oh, we'll do that one. Okay, Vicky's gonna give it a go. Just breaking off a little bit. Oh, I can't get. Get a big bit and then I'll eat the rest. I like that one. I won't say if anything spectacular though. No. No? Right, third and final strawberry delight. That looks very, I mean, fair play to the amount of chocolate chips that are on there. Yeah. And that, that must cost a heavy amount just for them chocolate chips now. This, is that a lot of salt? I don't know. I can't work out what it is. Oh, what salt. did he say on the Read out what it is first. 
Um, strawberry cream, two Valentine's box of candy. Strawberry cookies filled with dark chocolates and covered in our strawberry infused sugar, so it's sugar. Strawberry infused sugar, all right. Now this one's very soft. I don't know if it's because it's melting because of the heat. It smells very strawberry. That's got a lot of flavour in it. Mm. That one's nice, but I think I prefer the banana bread. Alright. So I think I'll go banana bread first, this one second, and then the chocolate chip third. Didn't rate the chocolate chip one at all, really. No. I don't. The taste, there was no taste to it, really. Mm. Banana bread's got, got a nice amount of taste. This has got a lot of flavour in it. But I don't know if it's my flavour. Tastes like. Tell me the strawberry flavour. Try a tiny bit, just so you know, you'll know what the flavour is. Okay, Vicky's trying a little bit of the That's strawberry very one. Nice. Mm. You prefer that one the best? I like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's the strawberry taste like? That quality street. Yeah, that's the one, yeah, yeah. There you go. Think of like a strawberry dream, quality street. That's exact. You're right there, Vicky. That's the exact flavour. You're enjoying that one? It is actually. I like that one. Yeah, that's nice. So you're going with Strawberry Delight first, obviously Banana Bread second because you didn't try the chocolate chip one. Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. What out of 10 would you give it? Out of one. Nine. Nine out of 10? Yeah, hey, that's, that's a good score mm -hmm. for the Strawberry Delight. Now this is a limited edition one, so this isn't normally here all the time. So no, if, you are, like if you are coming in February, this would be, this would be here. Okay, so Vicky loves the strawberry delight one with yeah. the chocolate lips on. <laughs> Look at the hands as well. Oh, they've been wiped off. But Vicky loves the strawberry delight one, and I love the banana bread one. The chocolate chip one is not worth. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't you, know, I, you know what? I was thinking that chocolate chip one was going to be like the yeah. the staple. You know, oh, that's the, that's the cookie, and then everything else is like flavored around yeah. that. But no, it wasn't. No, is it? no. But definitely recommend them banana bread one and the strawberry delight one. Okay, so the main question is, was it worth the 40 minute wait? No. I have to agree with Vicky, I don't, I don't think they're the best cookies I've ever had. I think they were nice, the, the strawberry and the banana bread one, but I mean, if the queue, if the queue were empty, I might get one every now and again, but I, would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rave over it. I wouldn't say best you've ever had. Um, like I said, don't, because it's so dense, so thick and dense, I feel like it doesn't taste as much like a cookie. It's more like a cake a bit. Yeah. Um, like I said, we still still like the strawberry one and the and the other one, but it's just the queue makes it. Yeah, it is. The amount of time that you have to queue and the way it's hyped up by the queue, you expect a lot, and I don't think it gives that back. No, I mean if there wasn't a queue, you'd be like, oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah. The, the queue makes it think it needs to be really good. Yeah. Right, I I'd have that frozen hot cocoa any day over yeah. buying them. You'd queue however long it took. Yeah. Them. Yeah, I mean you can see the difference in my reactions between them. Okay, so overall, what we're giving Gideon's as an overall score? Six and a half, seven. I was going to say seven. Without the queue, eight. But with the queue, seven. Yeah. Like I said, without the queue, eight. It makes them taste a bit better when you're not queuing. I don't, I don't know why, but, but yeah, just... It is. I don't know. I mean, the, the whole theme around it's really cool, isn't it? When you've got like the, the bookshelves when you're walking in, the actual yeah, yeah, yeah. feel to the place when you win, the smell to the place yeah. is good. It's just... Is it worth a 40 minute wait? Probably not. And I, I know I know that's like a short time. Some people wait about four hours for it. It's crazy. Anyways, we're gonna walk down this way and we're gonna go and visit some more shops. Okay, so we've just come down to this street here. And I can see a Star Wars dedicated shop and a Marvel shop. So they're gonna be our two that are going in. I'm gonna show Vicky my moves with my lightsaber. <laughs> Yeah, cool, I don't know. 
Yeah. You know how much they are? How much? $99.99. $100. Dollars. Worth it. Before tax. <laughs> go here, Vicky. <laughs> All right, Vicky's giving it a go. <laughs> Bubbles getting blown into your face. I do like that Marvel and Star Wars shop. Yeah. They, they are interactive and the stuff you can buy look really cool. Oh, the candy cauldron. This is this is another shop that smells absolutely amazing inside. All right, Vic, I want, I want to see you walk in and smell it. There is some really nice chocolate apples in here. This way, I think. Right side American ones, aren't they? Go on, Vic. Smell of it. And it's, what do you think of the smell? Very sweet. It is, isn't it? So they have like your own pick and mix in here. All the Mickey Mouse sweets. If you ever have these, you know I've got these taste. And then they do some really good desserts over here, especially the chocolate apples. <laughs> Nicky thought they were too sweet in there, didn't you? Like you said it like fragrancy. Yeah, fragrancy sweet. It is. It is very. It is very strong. I mean, if you're only there in there for a couple of a couple of seconds slash minutes, it's it's a nice smell. Um, but yeah, I just spotted this summer house here. I remember, if you can't get in the queue for Gideon's, that's a really good place to go because they do their own, do their own cookies there now. Salt and straw. Oh, salt and straw. After that cookie, I don't really want an ice cream, but the ice cream at Salt and Straw is so nice. So here's the salt and straw menu. Now, the one that I really like is the sea salt with caramel ribbons. That's like one of the best ice cream flavors I've ever had. Oh, what was the other one? Cinnamon snickerdoodle was really nice. If you like cinnamon, that's really good. But honestly, the sea salt with caramel ribbons is so good. It's to die for. Cheese. Cheese and ice cream. What is that? Cheese. Where? Oh, yeah. I'm... Strawberry honey balsamic with that pepper. The salty donut pepper and cheese. Cheese. Not sure about cheese in it. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it that. It tastes like cheesecake though. That's true. Well, I don't know if it'd be, it'd be like that. Cheese. These are limited edition flavours as well. Cheese. Right? Cheese. Still going on about cheese. Yeah, it's a subject. Man, isn't it? <laughs> cheese in it. Cheese. Cheese pulp. Sound like a thingy, Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to get any ice cream just because we have them Gideon's cookies. Don't want to overface myself. You just see the M&M store in the background now, which we're going to go and head into. Okay, let's head inside. We've just been notified there's some free samples in here, so we're gonna head over to here and try some. I, I mean, I don't usually like And if you really like it. Vicky just spotted these. They look good. They do look good. Look at these as well, Vicky spotted. You're gonna, you gonna get some of them? Yeah, I'm going $1.99. Yeah, $1.99 for They're quite a decent packet as well. So these are the ones that we just tried as a free sample now. The white chocolate and dark chocolate mix, really good, aren't they? Yeah, I'll it's a get good it good combination. You're gonna get them. For you. $1.99 each, not bad to be fair. Okay, so a very successful shop for Vicky. She grabbed herself these caramel cold brew. Now we left the Easter Easter ones just because yeah. they were nice, they weren't best I've had though. Um, basically they give us a free sample and it was white chocolate and dark chocolate mixed. Uh, they were nice, it was a good combination, but I think I prefer the peanut butter ones or the crispy M&Ms. Vicky's going to try them later for us, aren't you? Not now, because you're giving yourself a minute. Yep. Yeah, we'll try them later. Okay, so it's come to that time of day where we're getting a little bit hungry now, aren't we, Vic? Yeah. So where are we heading? Blaze Pizza. Blaze Pizza, baby. Which is literally just across this bridge here. Okay, so I sat down in Blaze Pizza. We've got quite a nice seat to be fair, I Now we've got our order. We've got, both got a two topping pizza and we've got pepperoni and black olives, both of us, with a side of ranch as well. <laughs> and then we also got a regular drink and all that came to was 27.53. Good price to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I love I love the uh, the thing in here where you can walk past and you can tell them how much of yeah. a certain thing you want on each. Got Fanta for our fountain drink and then we'll let you know what it tastes like when it comes. 
Okay, so their pizzas have arrived. How good do these look? Yeah, all right, Vicky's gonna give it a taste first. How's that tasting? I hate to say it, I think it's better than Lucky's. Oh, no way. The first pizza. It's the crisp. It's the, it's the, the base, meat. isn't it? Yeah. Oh. How good is it? So good. Yeah. Oh. It must be good if you're saying it's better than, better than the McDonald's it's one. It's just how crispy it is on the meat. Okay, show the underside of the pizza bit. That base is unbelievable. I said, you know, it's a good pizza when you can hold the pizza out in front of you and it just stays in a straight line. It doesn't drop or whatever. It's not soggy at all, not greasy. Absolutely lovely. 10 out of 10. Okay, so we just finished our Blaze pizza. How was it, Vic? Amazing. Best yeah, you've had? Best pizza I've had. I was not expecting it really to top Mackie's pizza. Yeah. Um, but it did. Yeah, it, it was. It exceeded all expectations, I'm really pleased. Yeah, it is really good. Like I said, the, the base and the crust is just unreal, really. Like I said, the toppings are all the red sauce. The fact that you can ask for more yeah. of, of something as well. Yeah. It's just really good. And the price as well, we just said, about $13.50 each for a pizza and a drink to and share. to make it your own as well, you can spend however much you want on certain it's amazing. Things. And you're in Disney. It's amazing. That's probably one of the highest recommendations if you're at Disney Springs. Yeah. Get down to Blaze Pizza, yeah. Okay, so I just finished up with our Blaze. We're now going to head back to the Uber kind of docking station. <laughs> docking station. It's a ship. Uber ship. <laughs> I won't be surprised that's coming soon. They do Uber board, don't they? So. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, yeah, we're going back to the Uber place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to grab an Uber back to our hotel. And then, where are we going tonight? Well, a bit of change of plan. We didn't really know what to do because obviously we've eaten early and we're going back to the hotel. Yeah. We've decided that we're going to go to Target. Ooh. And I'm so excited because Target is literally one of the places I've always wanted to go to. Yeah. So I think we're going to go back, we're going to drop off our Gideon's cookies and everything that we bought. And then we're going to get the eye trolley again to the outlets. It's, it's pretty much, yeah, it's close to the outlets. Um, and then go shopping at Target, see what we can buy and what I can buy. Yeah. So we'll catch you once we're at the Uber and tell you how much it is first and then we'll show you where we're going from there. Okay, so we just got out of our Uber. It was $8.98. And um, we just got it to the Vineland outlets because then we're going to get the eye trolley back home to our hotel and then get back on the eye trolley, back to the outlets to then go and walk over to Wal uh, not Walmart, Target. Target. That's the one. Yeah. So Target's coming, baby. So just for reference, stop 34 is right outside the outlets. And you can just see the eye trolley's coming down the road now. Okay, so we just got onto the eye trolley now, sat down, and then on our way back to the hotel. Nick is gonna be trying. My uh, caramel cold brew M&Ms. They sound good. Never tried these before, I didn't even know they were fine. Ah. Right. Tastes a bit like coffee and walnut cake. Ooh. But the inside's like caramel, that's off. Nice. Mmm. Oh, they're good. 100% recommend them. I'd buy a big pack of them. Would you? You don't really, you really like MMs. I'm not you? a big fan of MMs, but they are out of this world. Travel. Okay, Danny's turn. Look at that. Size of it. Oh, it's a, the proper dobbers. They're almost a bit like the um, peanut ones, peanut MMs. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You get better as you try them. The texture's really nice, isn't yeah. it? Mm. How good are they? And I don't even like coffee. Yeah. So they're really nice. I actually like them. Not as good as my Boo. peanut peanut butter Boo. ones. But 
They are good. Yeah. The inside of them is like really nice. Right, so I'm gonna go and give the chocolate chip one another go. Oh, okay. Because oh, I might have been harsh on it. I'm gonna give it another go and make sure I give a proper review. And you've got a proper chunk there. No, still not good. Just not it. I don't. It's not got what it you want. It tastes like an oven. <laughs> like one of them like, ovens that haven't been cleaned out. Oh. And the smell of them. That's what it tastes like. Oh, I know. I really don't like that chocolate like chip one. But. Banana bread. <laughs> Let's go back to the banana bread one. Let's get a big dab of that. Very nice smell. Mm. Better. Much better. At least I've removed that taste from my mouth. I don't really don't recommend the chocolate chip one. Banana bread. Maybe that shard one if it's still on. If not, try and find something else. That banana bread's good though. Okay, Vicky's going to try the chocolate chip one because I told her she needs to try the oven. It's really, it's not nice, is it? It tastes like... An oven. You've got a kid. You've got food tech at school. <laughs> <laughs> and they've gone in <laughs> the back. with half the ingredients that they needed and found it in the back of the fridge. <laughs> and they've gone. And that's what they come back with. Mummy, I've made you some some cookie. Try some. And then you have to go. Oh, oh it's lovely, love. It's really nice. Yeah, that's the best you've ever done. Yeah. It's not it's it, is just it? So underwhelming. Like it there's is. nothing to it at all. Yeah, but like, not yeah. The strawberry and the banana. Yeah, strawberry and banana. Well, strawberry. I like the banana one, but uh, I don't know if it was just that chocolate chip one, but no, uh, I just definitely just go for the uh, something else other than the other than the chocolate chip one. A few moments later, <laughs> the bus is coming. <laughs> the bus is coming. Quick, Vic. We made it on our way to Target. <laughs> so we just got off our eye trolley now. A lot quicker this time, wasn't it? Yeah. There was only us and this other family on, and the other family were so funny. They're really funny, weren't they? They were all so drunk, and they asked how long me and Danny had been together, um, and I said uh, five years. Yeah. And she went, "Why have you not? Why have you not married her yet? A nice girl like her. Why have you not married her to Danny? Danny was getting all the stick for not. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> and I said, "Well, I keep saying it. She <laughs> says she's going to check in next year. Next, next time year, we come. Next time we come and see if he's done it yet. Yeah." So. Well, yeah, anyways, we're just going to cross this. <laughs> anyways, we're just going to cross this road. Oh, going to cross this road. Well, he's beeping. So, yeah, anyways, if you get off at stop 36 on the eye trolley, you have all this nice little restaurant. So, you have Shake Shack, you have Chick fil A, um, but you also have Target, which is in the distance, which we're going to now. Okay, so it's, of course, first thing that Vicky comes to is like the cosmetic section. <laughs> Now she spotted these tree huts, body scrubs that she said you can't get anywhere else apart from America. So she's having a look at these. Okay, so Vicky's gonna go for this one, Tropic Glow, and that is $7.99. Vicky's living her American dream. Red shopping cart, having a look at all these products. Look at that. So we've just come down like the chocolatey aisle, and you can see we're looking at the M&Ms. So we spotted the cold brew ones that Vicky just had, um, and also the peanut butter ones that I've had over the holiday. Is it a shopping a shopping trip without Vicky looking at jewellery and putting some into a basket? Of course not. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are we thinking? A bit too loose. Is there a smaller size? So that's a shame they don't actually have Vicky's size. Okay, so fresh out of Target, 
quite a successful yeah. little shop there. We only got only got one bag, didn't we? Yeah. Didn't go crazy like last time um, in Walmart. But <laughs> there was a little Starbucks as well that Vicky's gone and grabbed herself a little, or well, venti, well, strawberry yeah, acai hot, with hot. lemonade. Strawberry acai lemonade, yeah. Yeah, and it came to about, what was it, 5 eight? I don't even know. I just 5 eighty, I think it was. <laughs> Five dollars eighty, which I just tapped and left. The thickest, the thickest thing. Uh, but yeah, no. So we got a couple of stuff. Main thing was Vicky getting a dry shampoo and um, hairspray. Yeah, that just you needed. I, yeah, I don't really want to wash my hair again now before we leave to go home. So I just thought I'd pick some up. Whilst we were, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to catch the eye trolley back to the hotel. Yeah. We'll show you a mini haul of what we got just when we get back. Um, but yeah. Come and join us back at the hotel. Just before we do go back to the hotel, Vicky's going to give a quick try of the drink. Nice. I think that's the best one, you know. What, better than the Magno yeah, Dragon Fruit? I think it is. No way. Mm -hmm. Better than the Passion Fruit Lemonade mm -hmm. thing? No, it can't I be. I think that's my favourite. Because with the Mango Dragon Fruit, you get all the little bits from the Dragon Fruit. With this one, you don't, and it's proper, like, nice and flavoured. Yeah. So give it a try. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll go and get it. Let it go. Target in the background there. Ooh, that's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. That's nice, that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it really is nice. So but you. I think the passion fruit lemonade frozen one was really nice. Do you? I think that's my favorite. That's I like, more I like frozen stuff, though. I like something more about it. This is really refreshing, you know, if you're thirsty mm. through the day. Oh, it is good, that. All right, anyways, catch you back at the hotel. Okay, so we're back into the room now. Quick little target haul. Mini it's literally the smallest thing ever. I mean, just lift up your things that you got, Vic, that you wanted. Talk us through. Okay, so we've got hairspray, speaks for itself, needed some. Um, got this dry shampoo, not your mother's, it's called. I saw it <laughs> on TikTok and apparently it's supposed to be good, so got that. There's no uh, fragrance in it and things like that. And then lastly, Tree Hut Tropic, oh, <laughs> Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. No, that was nine ninety nine. Hmm? Yeah. Isn't it? it says nine ninety nine. No. Nope. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the Trezzy Mare. Trezzy Mare. Trezzy Mare was. Theresa Mare. <laughs> Theresa Mare was five ninety nine. Okay. Not bad. And then the Not Your Mother's was six forty nine. Good. And then got two. Protein yogurts. Protein yogurts. Which flavours? Uh, strawberry and peach. And they came to one forty nine each. Yep. Then finally, last bananas. couple of things, bananas just for breakfast. Yeah. Nice pieces for Danny. They were they were quite decent actually. One sixty. Uh, yeah, one. One twenty nine. Not bad. Yeah. Good. And the these came to four seventy nine then. Now. I did really like them. I don't know what the difference is between the Walmart price and Target prices. They looked about similar anyways, didn't they? I mean, you like them. We're in America. Yeah. Really oh, they're coming home with me anyway, so. Yeah, you're coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to conclude our today's video. I don't know if it's going to be, going to be a really long video because we showed quite a lot in the shops at Disney Springs. Mm. Might be. If you made it this far, well done. Thank you. You deserve a trophy. <laughs> I'm joking. Thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to drop us a like, comment any questions down below, and obviously the main thing is please subscribe, it would mean the world to us. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we're going to be going to... I don't even know yet what Aquatica. we're doing. We're going to be chilling around the pool. Chill, sunny, sunbathing. Yeah. And then at night we've got the Kissimmee Old Town Car Show. You'd think that's for Danny. It's actually for me. Yeah. Although Danny is starting to enjoy cars. Yeah. Well, it's muscle car show as yes. well, so it's like there'll be there'll be some good on good Most ones on display. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah, that would be good. But yeah. Very exciting. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Roll on the next one. <laughs>